I'm saying these other nations, then everything will push inclusivity. You know, the push, you can go to even if you go to college or you go wherever, you have to be indoctrinated in that system of how they do things. Now they have what's called what our office politics. Politics is huge. Cool we bono, you would benefit. Because everything is about uplifting them, keeping that society, keeping them moving shit up. It's not about you. But now you have our people who are knowing that, they'll still try to, to, to uh, they still want them to be a part of us. They don't want to have, they don't want to be, they want to be exclusive but not be exclusive. You have that hey, scripture talking about we are a nation of kings and priests, man. Kings and priests have exclusivity. You don't invite everybody to everything that you know. It's like your house, man. You don't invite fucking everybody into your house. You don't invite everybody into your car. You give them a ride or something. You know, it's good to, you know, you might help somebody out now and again, but you don't invite everybody in. Sometimes you gotta be an asshole about it. Because these people will help, they'll be proud with you. But please, you know, you have to be exclusive. And the word is exclusive. Not because of me, but because you're out by, you're outside. Maybe it's exclusive. It's going to continue to be exclusive. That's why I talk about the elect. It's not for fucking everybody. God, on Romans, for Romans 10 and 2, I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. That's what our people are about. They have a zeal. They have a zeal. The black conscious community, those guys have a zeal for the information. I'm working this time, this time. But they won't. They won't pick up, you know, strong support. They won't sit there and listen to the, the different lessons. And they have a zeal for them on side, but not according to knowledge. They don't, they don't know shit. When you come into the truth, you have to acknowledge that. I don't, I don't know shit. I don't know it all. I got I to gotta learn. I got to study. And that's what the elders and the, the, the brothers all be for. That's supposed to bring you through, you know, bring you off on the milk. It's supposed to Continue to keep a uh, sincere look of the word. They're supposed to strengthen you up. And that works is supposed to reflect the same thing that they're bringing you up. They're supposed to strengthen you up. And then, you know, meanwhile, they're still working on stuff. They're still bringing themselves up. But you don't, you don't just bring somebody around you. You're not doing it. You know, you're not going to do what I say and not as I do type attitude. That's, that's what we're doing. That's another thing I think. People have a zeal of righteousness. What's up, Chief? You know, our people have a zeal of righteousness, but not according to knowledge. <laughs> they don't want to know the truth. They don't want to know about the Bible. They don't want to know that shit. They want to know how can I make money now? How can I party forever? How can I live forever? How can I get the freshest gear to change and all this and that? And that's what Esau's taking everything for. That's why you have eBay and this different stuff. You can you can buy shit 24 hours a day. Hey, cause I can hey, that's how old too. I can remember a time when at a certain point of the day, you just, you it was like uh, I said 10 p.m. or something. That was it. All the stores and stuff were here in St. Louis, it's different other places like Chicago, you know, it's different. But St. Louis, you know, 10 p.m. That's it. Like I was saying, these other nations, then everything will push inclusivity. You know, the push, you can go to, even if you go to college or you go wherever, you have to be indoctrinated in that system of how they do things. You know, they have what's called what our office politics. Politics is huge. Cool, we bono, you would benefit. Because everything is about uplifting them, keeping their society, keeping them moving shit up. It's not about you. But now you have our people who are knowing that. They'll still try to, to, to uh, they still want them to be a part of us. They don't want to have, they don't want to be, they want to be exclusive, but not be exclusive. You have to, hey, scripture talking about we are a nation of kings and priests, man. Kings and priests have exclusivity. You don't invite everybody to everything that you know. It's like your house, man. You don't invite fucking everybody into your house. You don't invite everybody into your car. You give them a ride or something. You know, it's, it's good to, you know, you might help somebody out now and again, but you don't invite everybody in. Sometimes you got to be an asshole about it. Because these people will help. They'll be proud with you. So please, you know, you have to be exclusive. 
exclusive. Like the word is exclusive. Not because of men, but because you're out by so you're outside. Men are exclusive. That's going to continue to be exclusive. That's why they talk about the elect. It's not for fucking everybody. On the Romans, for Romans 10 and 2, I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. That's what our people are about. They have a zeal. They have a zeal. The black conscious community, those guys have a zeal going into information and breaking this down, this down. But they won't, they won't pick up, you know, a strong support. They won't sit there and listen to the, the different lessons. They have a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. They don't, they don't know shit. You coming to the truth? I don't I don't know shit. I don't know it all. I gotta I gotta learn, I gotta study. And that's what the elders and the, the, the brothers over you are for. That's supposed to bring you through, you know, bring you on on the milk. It's supposed to continue to keep uh, sincere milk of the word. And that's supposed to strengthen you up. And that works is supposed to reflect the same thing that they're bringing you up. That's supposed to strengthen you up. Meanwhile, they're still working on stuff. They're still bringing themselves up. Because you don't, you don't just bring somebody around you. You're not doing it. You're not going to do what I say and not what I do type attitude. That's, that's what we're doing. That's another thing our people have. Our people have a zeal of rights to have. What's up, Chief? You know, yeah. like, our people have a zeal of rights to do, but not according to knowledge. <laughs> they don't want to know the truth. They don't want to know about the Bible. They don't want to know that shit. They want to know. How can I make money now? How can I party forever? How can I live forever? How can I get the freshest gear, the change, and all this and that? And that's what Esau's taking everything for. That's why you have eBay and this different stuff. You can you can buy shit 24 hours a day. Hey, because I can, hey, that's how old too. I can remember a time when at a certain point of the day, you could, it was like, uh, I said 10 p.m. or something. That was it. All the stores are said, well, here in St. Louis, it's different other places, like Chicago, you know, it's different. But in St. Louis, you know, to don't shut a sin into him. That is to bring the Hawashah down from the wall. Or who shut a sin into the deep? That is to bring up the boat, bring up the Hawashah again from the dead. But what he said, the word is not in me, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. And that is the word of faith which we preach. That thou shalt confess with thy mouth. The Lord in the outside and shall believe in our heart the Lord God that that the Most High hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And that's just for our people, and that's for the Israelites. You are Israelite. That's for the blacks, the Americans, Latinos, the Israelites. That's not for all you people. Boy, you boy, the boy, the boy, confusing the faces, people who are really black, and they're like, you know, which one here, they're like, you know, you have our people scattered across the four points of the earth, who have a zillion amongst us. But the scripture said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be a sin. It's no shame. This is what this guy was talking about earlier. There's no difference between the two and the three. But the same Lord is over all, is rich unto all. And call upon him. Wait a minute. It just said, Brother, my heart's desire and prayer for the most high for Israel is that they might be saved. So you have to understand the context. The scripture has some of the block there as parts in it, but you need certain understanding to receive. Otherwise, the Bible would be all against the subject of understanding. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call upon him? They have not believed. And how shall they believe in them who they have not heard? And how shall they hear about preaching? Right? You have to receive the word through me. Men we do the word, men of the Lord do the word. The top men of the earth, men what the dead men are most of them. How white the house shot. Men who have to seek the divorce and fall into this place. Capitalism. Money. Uh, all the different shit. The women, the women play with the fuck. They uphold the bullshit. They hold the bullshit. Team off, do that. On the 
jump down to verse 19 and get the point home. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by that that are no people, and by our foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah is very, but it says it's very bold and said, I was found with them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel he said, All day long have I stretched forth my hands into a disobedient and gainsaying people. But to Israel he said, that's, a, that's what I'm doing now. I'm stretching my hands forth to the people and my disobedient people. These people are ignorant. You can't tell them shit, man. Oh, I can't ask them. Go into it with him, have a discourse with him. Wow, I know everything. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm saying you, you can at least, you can at least have, have a quick discourse with him. And once you see that, hey, you know what? Some, some stuff he's saying is clicking, but the problem is some stuff is just not going to click with what you mean. That's the, that's the main issue. Some stuff is just not going to click. We don't get emotional over it. Get emotional for things. The hardest to see when you have your moments, the demons jump on you, but we're praying that you don't stand and see that shit off her. Thirty-two to one. I'll be the master. 
all everybody just did in, in, in their past life and this life is my deliverance. My deliverance. And those who do something called Latino, something called white American, and you can't do it all. All of the niggas do it. I'm trying to die in that way. All of the niggas do it. Just like them. 